First Washington is the largest after-school STEM program in the state of Washington. We call it the sport of science, technology, and teamwork where every kid can go pro. We have four programs, First Lego League Junior, First Lego League, First Tech Challenge, and First Robotics Competition. We started a Girls First initiative to try to increase the awareness that girls can code, girls can program, girls can go pro in these industries just like their male teammates. Nerdy Girls is an underground robot society built by teen girls for teen girls. We meet under the cover of darkness to battle our way through six levels of increasingly difficult robot projects to become master robot trainers. <laughs> Sometimes girls don't have that chance to code or build robots and they always get like pushed aside because we're women and can't do anything apparently. We went to these competitions and saw that so many girls were working on scouting or marketing, like the non-technical side of things. It was really rare to find a girl who was building or coding the robot. So that's kind of what Nudo Girls is there for, to get um, girls the skills to go into these technical roles. The first season that my sister and I were coders, just that feeling of knowing that that robot was running code that we had written was uh, the best moment of my life. After experiencing that, we wanted to have as many girls as possible have that exact same feeling. Knowing that we're making this more accessible for everyone feels great. Our ultimate mission is to target teens in rural areas that are trying to start up robotics teams a little bit easier. Living in a rural area, there's no mentors available. There's not a lot of companies who are interested in tech that will step up and be sponsors at the level that we need. We are committed to crossing that um, line of equity and access and having kids from communities that don't necessarily have companies like Microsoft and Boeing right in their backyard, they can participate in these programs. It's creating a pipeline into a different kind of future for all these kids, and that's so exciting. My children are exploring new opportunities for their education and for their futures, being game designers, graphic artists, and biomechanical engineering is new on the table for them because of the experience they've had with First Washington. I have former elites that are in high school on FRC teams now. Some of them uh, are getting into some pretty big colleges and one of the big pieces they have on their resumes is their experience through the FIRST program. I'm betting that it will help me getting in, get into engineering schools I, and also I, I'm developing this sort of skill set and on-the-job learning that I would expect to be required from an engineer. Robotics is a place where you get some of the same features of being on a sports team. You get the teamwork, you get the hard work, you put the effort in, but it can really take you somewhere. Regardless of where you go next, you've got some skills that you can take into any area of your life. Take a look out there because those are your leaders of tomorrow. There's your engineers, there's your biomedical people. These people are gonna change the world. It's made me hopeful for my kids' futures in a way that I haven't been able to be for a very long time. For the first time, I really can see that she's got a bright future and I know how to get her there. 740,000 jobs in the next five years in Washington State are going to be made available. And these kids in FIRST Washington programs are gonna fill them. Our goal is to have FIRST programs across all Washington State schools. We are about 25% there, but with almost 4,200 schools across the state of Washington, we have a long ways to go. And at the end of the day, we cannot start teams if we don't have men and women that will raise their hand and say, I want to coach, I want to give my time, I want to give my financial support to make it happen. That's my proudest moment, is to see more men and women from all across our state say, I want to help. You cannot put a price tag on that.